is here. Well, oh, there he is. You know Brian Austin Green as one of the stars of 90210. Now he is starring in the new thriller Last the Night. A high school teacher snaps during the pandemic, and some teens are in for some very scary moments. The director, Nick Leisure, is here along with one of the stars, McKenna Taylor. And we also have some news about Brian Austin Green, which we'll get into that a little bit later. So we want to start out. I watched the trailer of this and it looks very good but for folks who haven't seen it yet give us an idea about what this movie is really about it's really about uh mental health and mm -hmm. and a teacher during the pandemic that is struggling with mm -hmm. being cooped up in inside mm -hmm. his apartment and having to teach you know his classes through zoom classes mm -hmm. and stuff so and he starts to lose it and he's got personal issues too so mm -hmm. his wife left him he's got mm -hmm. a child that he can't really see and mm -hmm. You know, so he's, he has a mental breakdown. Mm -hmm. And clearly, this all stems from the real pandemic and people mm -hmm. doing this. So, I mean, you were writing fast. This was fast, something quick. Yeah, yeah uh, we got the script done in about two and a half weeks. Wow, impressive. So, yeah, I was actually sitting at a high school in Sacramento with a friend of mine that uh, was a principal when he was talking to me about a teacher that was going through it. And oh, I wow. said, hey, what if we expanded this and turned it into a movie and obviously the teacher didn't go out shooting yes at people but yes. uh yeah i was like this would be a cool movie so very cool very cool ran with it yeah and mckenna you are playing one of these uh folks who's being frightened and chased by this yeah. teacher and i mean what was this role like for you tell us about your character uh her name is sadie i have blonde hair in it so you probably don't recognize me but um i loved the character it was very close to home because mm -hmm. She's kind of like the teacher's pet, Brian's yeah. um, teacher's pet, and she really understands him, and they have like a connection that's mm -hmm. different from the rest of the students, mm -hmm. I think, because she's more mature and mm -hmm. understands people better than the rest of these like high schoolers. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it was pretty cool because she has an understanding for like mental health mm -hmm. and addiction, and mm -hmm. I also in real life have a, uh, an understanding of that, yeah. so it was cool to step into her shoes and got to play this character. Yes, yeah. and I, I, I want to say when you say you have an understanding, your dad ran mm -hmm. a rehab. I don't want people to think that oh, you're yeah. dealing with She's addiction. <laughs> your dad ran a My rehab dad. facility. So yeah, he, he owns a rehab uh, yes. in Woodland Hills. Yes. yes. So you have that understanding of it. And I mean, <laughs> this movie looks pretty scary. I mean, it, it looks intense. Is that really what you were going for? Were you trying to scare us? Yeah, you know, uh, originally in the script, too, it wasn't that scary, but mm -hmm. uh, as we were shooting in these hallways in this mm -hmm. empty school, because we shot during the pandemic, mm -hmm. everything was shut down, so mm -hmm. we're in we're in this school where it's dark, mm -hmm. we're shooting from 6 p.m. till 6 a.m., you know, in these hallways, and it, it just looked creepy, so I, I had Brian do, you know, stuff that wasn't really in the script and mm -hmm. <clears throat> just kind of made people jump a little bit more, so. Uh-huh. And did you pick him in particular? Yes, I did. Tell me why. Just curious. You know, I can't remember exactly why, but I think he popped up in the media because uh -huh. he's always in the media, right? Yeah, so yeah. I think he popped up in the media and said, hey, you know, he would be a great character for to play this lead. And, yeah. I, you know, we have a list, a wish list, mm -hmm. obviously. You mm -hmm. know? So I put him at the top of the list and I sent it out to my casting directors and uh, they called me back and said, hey, Brian, I want you to call him and talk about this. And I was wow. like, hey, yeah. he's interested. So. Well, I would have never thought of him as being this lead, but watching... He is doing an amazing job. I mean, it's yeah. it's a very different character than what most of us are used to seeing him in Beverly Hills. Yeah, I <laughs> wanted to get him away from yeah. that uh, that image of the 90210. You yeah. know, I mean, obviously we're proud of him for what he did, yeah. but yeah. I told him, hey, let's grow out the beard and let's, mm -hmm. let's make you a little grungy and like you're, you've been in a pandemic, yeah. really, you know, and you yeah. don't really care about much. So exactly. Um, and it played off really well on screen. Yeah. And yeah, it scared you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you watched Definitely. it. Definitely. Yeah. It, yeah. He was great. He was incredible in the role. So I'm excited for everyone to see it. Yeah. yeah. It looks very good. I appreciate you guys taking some time to visit with us today and talk about it. Thanks yeah. for we'll having be us. watching it. It's streaming, but it's also playing in theaters, at yes. least some theaters. Yeah, so I think the closest one is in Riverside. Okay. You know, so okay. and it's across the country in theaters, but it is uh, hitting a streaming today as well. Okay. All right. Well, perfect. Thank you so much. And Thank you. and before we uh, let everyone to go, we want to mention that Brian Austin Green, who plays the lead role in the film, was scheduled to join us today, but his girlfriend gave birth to their son on Tuesday <laughs> night, Zane Walker Green. So understandably, he is not here today, but. We saw that he made it to the premiere last night. We, I think we have some of that video, and we are going to hold it to him 
he is going to come and join us hopefully very soon and talk more about the movie. Thanks again for joining us. And you can find more information about Last the Night by going to our website, kkel9.com, and click Scene on TV.